today i'm going to demonstrate on choice router so choice router it is a conditional routing so how it will work so whenever all expressions are failed it will be go to the default block so likewise uh, i just going to create one uh, project here so demo one two three i given the name here uh, i just listener uh, drag and drop here the listener so now uh, here protocol http and host local host i will use defaultly and 8081 i will get the test connection so it is already used bin so i need to use other uh, connection so 8083 i will try for it so test connection successfully then i'll click on okay and i'll give here the choice so once i give the choice uh, connection so i will use one transform message so in the transform message i will pass uh, your uri params here so here attribute start uri params dot test one so whenever you use pass the uri params in the flow we need to use that uri param this test one inside the listener we need to add here the path so now i will use the path forward slash test one okay now uh, it looks good here uh, i just uh, i just store this entire uri parents into the variables so here once i click on here so here uh, variable it is there so i will give the variable name as a test two so i click on the okay now this entire uri parents it will be it will be stored in the under the test two variable i can reuse it so more main reason would be cre uh, creating the variables so here we can reuse this uh, variable in, in inside the flow level right so now i will use the choice connector here now the choice if you observe the choice connector so in the naming also the choice it is a optional so it is a it is a optional optional choice it is there so like uh, so it is the when and default it is there so if you observe here when uh, it is the expression mode so we need to give the expression further so whenever this expression add true so then it will be take data from this block so otherwise it will be retrieve data from uh, this block a default block uh, we can get output response accordingly so in the choice router in the expression i'm just going to give here so here uh, if you if you observe this uh, uri param test one uh, uri param it is stored into the test two variable so i can reuse that uh, test two variable here so now here the expression i can write here the where start so test two so i'll give the condition here equal to equal to pass so why i'm giving the pass here so if you people can observe here so attributes uri params attributes uri params test one so this is the test one it is a uri param it is equal to key value as a pass so so uh, it means equal to pass means so the test one equal to pass so instead of test one we can use the pass it is equal means so that is the condition we are giving here so now uh, here i just place one transform message and i will be i will place another transform message and as well as i just uh, default also i will use one more transform messages so now if you can observe so in the second route uh, i will uh, give the same expressions likewise so vas dot test to equal to equal to fail so same so we just add some data here uh, to understand purpose so in the json format here uh, i can use like a status pass are successful successful okay now so uh, how it will be what i'm expecting so once this condition are accepted so then i need to uh, the router uh, it should select this uh, block and i need, uh, router should router should uh, uh, get the response from this block so that is what i'm expecting as the same thing uh, here the second route also i will add the same data here so like a json i will use it and uh, coming to here uh, i will use the status just like uh, status fail 
okay now in the default block i just add some data for understanding purpose so like uh, json uh, sorry status i can take uh default right so now it looks good so if you observe here in the listener uh, i have used the path and i have uh, in that in the transform message i store in the variable this particular URI variables and I just give the conditions for that. So once conditions are satisfied, so then it will be go uh, set in block accordingly that. So if conditions are failed, it will be go to the default block and it will fetch the data from default block. So we'll get the response as an output. So now uh, we are using VARS here uh, under storing the variables and VARS we will take a reference. So VARS under uh, we have the uh, test one, it is a uh, test one, it is a uh, URI variables. So the test one, it is equal, we are just equaling to the pass value. So once uh, we use the pass value, uh, then uh, we can get the first route, uh, this block data, we need to get as an output as a response. So and one more thing, so in the URI parents, always remember one thing. So this URI parents, we can change dynamically, right? So instead of test one, I can use any one, anything. So anything uh, instead of anything so if i use pass then i need to get uh, this uh, transform message data i need to get as a response the second route uh, if i take if you use fail i need to get this response and if i use uh, instead of pass or fail i uh, it should be go to the default block and it should be go to the default block data as a response so that's what i'm expecting so let's check so before that uh, i'm just going to save and either run it here and uh, Neural runtime. So here uh, it is started. So here it builds successfully and uh, here launching the JVM also. So all properties are running. So it is initializing uh, this demo 123 flow. So now you can see here uh, the status is deployed. So uh, the status is deployed, right? So now we can see here uh, the demo 123 flow successfully started, right? So the name uh, automatically will become demo 123 I given as a name. So it will be flow. It is flow means it is a main flow actually, right? So now I'll check the response. So I given the port number is 8083 and choice it is same and pass. So suppose guys just uh, tell now. So suppose if I use a pass here, as per my requirement, I need to get this router data status pass successful as the output response. Now I will hit it here. See, status pass successful. I got a 200 success response code, right? So the same thing. So if I use the fail, I need to retrieve the data from the second route, right? Status fail. Right now, I will use instead of pass, I will use a fail. Suppose I'll use a fail, see, status is a fail and 200 success response code. Suppose uh, if I use uh, instead of pass or fail, so if I use any other URI param uh, in the postman, so I need to uh, I need to get this default block data as a response, status as a default. That's what I'm expecting. So now I will use uh, here instead of fail, I will use a test one test or something uh, random number I'm giving. So this is uh, dynamically I change the number, uh, change the URI value here. So then I need to get the default block data. So now see status default. I got a successful response code, right? So accordingly, uh, this way choice of will be work. And if it has got one more doubt here, so suppose uh, I just store in the variables or oh, only variables I, I use the condition, I just pass it. So we, we can use uh, instead of variables directly payload also, we can use it, right? Likewise, uh, if it is getting doubt. So even uh, if you select in the payload, so once you come here, uh, let me, sh I'll show you, okay? So edit current target. If I change the current target instead of variable to uh, payload, now I will save it. So it is payload only. Then whenever it is in a payload, then directly this uh, URI parents directly I can use here. The statements directly I can able to pass here. See, likewise. So that means also we can pass it. 
now after i'll save it and i'll run it play the console i'll rerun it again so once it is run so i'm expecting the same result so whichever whichever i got before a uh, response right the same response i got each uh, block right so before uh, the only the difference would be before i have used uh, variables here store this uh, entire attributes inside the variables and i processed it now i just use only the payload data so payload data these attributes directly i have used this inside the expression mode so now i will use it uh, here uh, status is deployed so now i'll check so if i use a pass so as per pass statement i need to get so see uh, the pass successful statement i get it see so here this one so pass now if i use a fail fail so now uh, once i click on hit here i got a fail see this is a fail now if i use any uh, random uh, uri params if i pass like a test a g h you like that whatever so if you pass the random value here then it will be go to the default block status default so now it is uh, fetching from default default block so likewise it will be work uh, this choice router it is completely conditions conditional based routing right so uh, yeah this is pretty much and uh, thanks for watching